guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we have a brand new 2018 product and it is a brand new release from a company that is near and dear to my heart and they are called Dino Dream and this is by far the biggest Dino Dream figure that I have ever gotten. It is just gigantic and it is this. This is their full scale one to one Compsignate this from the Lost World Jurassic Park and it is absolutely breathtaking. It truly is. It is just an absolutely marvelous piece. Dino Dream have completely outdone themselves with this release. Everything about this thing just screams quality. Now I know what you're thinking. Chronicle Collectibles had previously released a one-to-one -one scale compi and if you can recall me reviewing that one I was really really in love with that one at the time. I definitely was head over heels for it pretty much but this one in my opinion is without question nicer than the Chronicle Collectibles one and not by a little bit it is much nicer in my opinion because the Chronicle Collectibles one although it is very very nice it really is truly beautiful there were a few minor issues that over time I really started to pick out like I wasn't a big fan of the mouth and the eyes kind of looked a little iffy to me but everything that um, I thought was a little bit of an issue on the Chronicle version is not at all an issue on this Dino Dream version. This one is just beautiful. As you can see, unlike the Chronicle Collectibles version, this one has its mouth opened. It's awesome to have one with the mouth open. You can see inside there's beautiful detail all over. And the other thing that I said was the eyes on the Chronicle one I wasn't a big fan of. And although you can't really see it too good right now, I will give you a better look here in a little bit but uh, you should be able to tell that the eyes on this one look much better than the eyes on the Chronicle version this one definitely has a beautiful gloss over the eyes the eyes look really real it just looks absolutely alive to me and this one also comes with a very big base you can see here with a uh, beautiful coloration all over it it's pretty much a dirt mound like the smaller compies had and uh, yeah it absolutely is awesome so let's get a nice closer look at it now starting up here at the head you can see that the uh, head detail is awesome. It really is just so much, so much detail to it. You can see the nostrils right there are sculpted out beautifully. And then you come back here, you can see all sorts of detail and uh, small little scales and stuff put into the palette area in the upper part of the head here. And then you can get back, like I said, the eye looks much nicer on this one in my opinion than it looked on the Chronicle version. You can just see it has glossed so nicely it shines in such a realistic way that I absolutely love it. You can see looking back here that even the ears are sculpted out quite nicely. In the inside of the mouth you can see some nice detail here on the side area of the mouth. And then coming around here to look at the teeth. The teeth are all sculpted individually and they are all very nicely painted. No sloppiness whatsoever in there. And looking on the inside of the mouth as well. You can see it just looks beautiful. The coloration is fantastic. It looks very real. Something I could definitely see the inside of the mouth being. Everywhere in there, the detail is just superb. So Dino Dream have really outdone themselves with this release. This is absolutely incredible. You can see looking down here on the lower jaw, the detail is also really, really nicely done. Even looking down here, you can get a nice shot of the upper part of the mouth to see just how realistic that really looks. And then you can see down here, there's some skin folds and stuff on the underside of the neck. Just basically some hanging skin. All sculpted beautifully. And then going up to the top of the head, you can see some more of that beautiful scale work. The paint on this is really nicely applied as well. You can just see that there are different tones of green and everything all over the place. It really looks beautiful the way it's been painted. It looks very, very real. And coming back around to the neck, you can see tons and tons of detail beautiful sculpt work the whole way through you can see that the skin here all over the neck is just really really nicely and realistically sculpted it really looks beautiful all over the place and then you come back the neck and you can see that that detail just continues the whole way down it looks absolutely awesome everywhere you look nicely sculpted on the underside of the neck very realistic coloration as well in my opinion and then coming back here to the shoulder area you can see that the sculpt work is 
very nicely done here as well. Just the little itty bitty details and stuff are the things that I really love about this model. You can just see that there's just so much work here in the sculpt of this. And then coming down into the hands, the hands are also a very realistic coloration in my opinion. Beautifully painted, beautifully detailed. You can see the claws are a pure black color and they are glossed as well so it helps to bring them to life. Gives them a realistic look and I love that the underside of the hand is painted a slightly different variation of color than the upper side of the hand. And uh, that's one thing that I think is very cool about this model. Coming back here into the stomach, you can see some more beautiful detail. Little skin folds here and there. You can also actually going back up here, you can see the skin being pulled away from the uh, arm area, the armpit basically. So uh, showing a little bit of the motion of the dinosaur. Nice attention to detail. Then coming back here, you can see the hip bone here. Really elaborated, looks very nice. And then you can see just beautiful crevices and little itty bitty details here on the leg. It looks very, very nice. You can see nice muscle tone in the upper part of the leg as well. And then coming down here, you can see that the knees are nicely sculpted and the calves look beautiful. The muscle tone again is very nicely done in there. The detail is also sculpted very, very nicely. And then coming down here, you can see the feet. They look beautiful as well. The coloration is really, really nice. I love that it's a darker brown, but then on the front, you can see little bits of lighter brown that run down the toes and the upper part of the foot. And then again, the toenails are a blackish color or almost a grayish. It's really hard to tell, but they're glossed as well, so they look very nice also. And then coming out the tail, you can see that those little cracks and crevices are very, very frequent all over the place. Really helps to make this thing look absolutely alive and you can see that the coloration works perfectly the whole way out it looks awesome and looks very realistic pretty much in my opinion exactly as it looks in the movie you can see the entire coloration of the dinosaur is a greenish color and then it has some darker greens all over the place and then of course these uh, very very dark stripes that run the length of the dinosaur just like you see in the film of the lost world so the coloration of this, the paint job, everything is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then looking over here at this side of the head, again, you can see that the detail and sculpt work is fantastic, that beautifully glossed eye. And then coming back here, you can actually see that there are little hints of blue here on the side of the head, and that had that on the other side as well. But uh, that's just uh, an interesting little bit of mixture of coloration, just to give this a little bit of flashiness. This may actually mean that this could be a male Compsognathus. I'm not really sure uh, that's possible, though, with the brighter bluish a little bit here on the head. And then coming back, you can see some beautiful skin folds again there in the neck. And then the beautiful sculpt work running the entire length of the neck, that nice long Compsognathus neck. You can see that it looks beautiful everywhere. Sculpt work is fantastic. This thing is just flowing with detail truly looks 100% alive in my opinion and then the tail again very very long absolutely huge tail and then you can look here at the underside the underside also has very beautiful detailing all over this compsognathus is 100% awesome and then of course you've got the base and you can see that this base is sculpted insanely well it really looks absolutely 100% genuine it looks really, really real to me. You can see that there are just cracks all over this. It just basically looks like a dried out, uh, maybe like a sand bed or where a pond might have been, and it's now dried up a little bit. It looks awesome in my opinion. And you can see that one cool addition to this is that the, the dirt kind of leans over the side of the base a little bit here and there, and that looks very, very cool. You can also see that the paint on this is really nicely done. It makes it look very, very realistic. So many different tones gone into it to make it really come to life. It looks fantastic everywhere you look. Again, there's some more of that dirt and stuff hanging over, a little bit of growth. It actually has a little bit of green to it, so there might be a little bit of moss or something there, again, on this side as well. So one thing about this base is it's actually very heavy. It's really quite heavy. Uh, definitely a lot of weight to it, so you shouldn't have any issues as far as balancing goes for this model. It shouldn't fall over or anything. And then you can see the beautiful soft underside it also has these beautiful little circular rubber pieces here that help it uh, stop from sliding or anything so it'll be completely stable and again the nice soft underside this whole base is absolutely beautiful now as far as how the comp this goes in I'm sure by now you have noticed this spike here on his foot and then of course right there is a nice little hole so you'll take that hole 
you line it up here with the spike, and then you just slide it right in, and there you go. And now he's back to a beautiful, perfect standing position. As far as a size goes, you're gonna have to work with me here as this isn't the most stable position for this to be in. But from the tail to the tip of the head, you're looking at about 32 inches long. So that's very, very long, bigger than the Chronicle version. And then from the ground to the top of the head, you're looking at about 13, a little over 13 inches high, maybe 13 and a quarter, somewhere in that area. So it's very, very big. It's the biggest one-to-one -one scale compi that I have. I actually have three different one-to-one -one scale compies now. I have the Dino Storius version, and then of course the compi from the Lost World that Chronicle Collectibles had released, and now the Dino Dream version. And unquestionably, my favorite out of all three is this Dino Dream version because this thing is just jaw-dropping beautiful. For a size comparison, there is our wonderful Papo T-Rex, so you can see just how much bigger this Compsignathus is than the Papo T-Rex. The size difference is just ridiculous. The T-Rex is much, much smaller than this Compsignathus, so you can see and get a good idea of just how insanely big and long that Compi is. It is huge compared to this Papo T-Rex, which isn't really a small model by any means. The Papo T-Rex is definitely a nice sized model. So you can just get a good idea of how much bigger this thing is than Mr. T-Rex. So to give you an idea of these two together, you can see right here, this is the Chronicle Collectibles version and the Dino Dream version. So if you're looking to have a start of your own little pack of compies, this is a perfect way to go to own both the Dino Dream and the Chronicle Collectibles version. You can see here that uh, they look to be about similar height. The Dino Dream one might be a tiny bit shorter than the Chronicle Collectibles version, but the Chronicle base is a little taller than the Dino Dream version. But at the same time, the Dino Dream version is about an inch or so longer than the Chronicle version. And it's also a little beefier. It's not quite as skinny as the Chronicle version. So both have their appealing factors, but in my opinion, if I were to pick, I would definitely go with the Dino Dream version. But yeah, overall, I think they're both awesome, but I would definitely lean toward the Dino Dream one for sure over the Chronicle Collectibles one. Again, not that the Chronicle one is bad, because it's not, it's nice. But uh, yeah, the Dino Dream one is a little bigger, has a cooler pose, it's more dynamic, the pose. It's got its mouth open, which is again another plus for me and the eyes definitely look better than the Chronicle version. I kind of dig the base a little more, I think, on the Dino Dream one than the Chronicle one. The Chronicle one is similar to what you see in the movie with the stream bed, but I feel like as far as the actual painting of the base goes, it's just one solid color, whereas this one has much more effort as far as paint and everything goes, and uh, in my opinion, it just in general has more detail to it than the Chronicle base. But, if you happen to already own the Chronicle Collectibles version, I can 100% recommend getting the Dino Dream version as well, as you'll then have a pair of compies that look very, very similar, but both based on the Lost World Jurassic Park. Another one of the very cool redeeming factors of this Dino Dream version over the Chronicle Collectibles one, and I don't want to keep harping on you guys about how much better the Dino Dream one is than the Chronicle, but uh, I just really want to stress how good of a deal you're getting with this guy because to purchase the Chronicle Collectibles version, it is 300, well actually it's sold out now, but when it was for sale, it was $399 and then shipping was around the $40 to $50 mark, somewhere in that area depending on where you live. But to buy this Dino Dream version, this one is only $199, but shipping is $99. So, for $300 shipped, you can get this beautiful, gigantic, one-to-one -one scale Compsignathus. So, obviously, this one here is a much better deal as far as price goes. And then plus, like I said, with the beautiful detailing, the mouth open, the paint job, in my opinion, looking a little probably closer to what it looked like in the movie. I mean, that just might be my opinion. Maybe, uh... You might not feel the same, but that's just the way I feel about this. And then the eye, obviously, in my opinion, also looks better than the Chronicle version. So this one, for being $150 cheaper, is a way better deal. And now that the Chronicle one is sold out, 
you'll have a heck of a time probably trying to find one for even that price. So in my opinion, like I said, I would recommend 100% getting this Dino Dream version if you are a fan of Compsognathus or Jurassic Park. So everything about this Compsognathus is awesome. I can't recommend him enough. Everything from the beautiful detailing, the beautiful paint job, the nice dynamic pose, got a fantastic base as well it's got some very nice weight to it so it keeps him nice and stable as you can see he's got no issues coming off of there but uh when you do slide him in to here you do not want to try to hold him by the copy itself because although i'm picking it up a little bit here it doesn't always stay in the copy will fall out if you hold him by that so i do want to mention that really quickly before i end the review but honestly this is an absolutely beautiful piece and an extremely affordable piece for something that is this high quality and this nice and not to mention the sheer size of this because you can't even usually buy resin kits for this price but you can get this guy completely 100% finished and looking absolutely awesome for only about $300 shipped so like I said I will link you guys in the description straight to the Dino Dream eBay store straight to this guy's particular listing and you can get on buying him if you'd like as I said, 110% recommendation, an absolutely beautiful dinosaur figure here again by Dino Dream. Dino Dream always hits the nail right on the head. So again, check out the description, buy them, let me know if you guys get them and if you like them as much as I do. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.